Good morning, everyone. Today is lesson number 24. <coughs> I will run the program, so let's get started. We import the time object and date time. <coughs> you can use the help function to find out what the, <coughs> the time actually do, so actually does. So if you run that program again, Go all the way to the top. <coughs> That's going to be a long one. All right, the time. What it does? There's a uh, classes here. See so the class topo. You, you got time? Just look at this. What it does? Okay, I'm not going to go over it. So um, what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna run the program again and then I'm gonna look at what it does okay so run the program okay now this one here you your sign could have time with or the time assigned with zero so this T2 here, you're going to replace T1, <coughs> that the military tram, and assign to T2. And then T3, you're going to replace with 45 minutes, assign to T3. And then you're going to print T1. First of all, <coughs> first of all, you, you're going to print this thing while you're here. When you bring here, it's just gonna keep the date and the month and the time and the years right here. Okay. When you print t time here, t one here, it's gonna be zero because you didn't assign any value in there. Okay. When you put twenty one in there, it's gonna be replaced with twenty one military time. This is about nine p.m. And the t two here. You put 45 in there, it's going to become 21 45 minute T3. Okay, all right. So, if I if I let's say I put like this, put T1 dot, so you, can, you know that it return an hour and a minute. Okay, so, and you have a function that you could look in here. So, so that's quite a, quite a class is right there, okay? So, we don't have time, just go look look for it, okay? I'm not gonna do it, so you go ahead. In the time function, you have this one converted time from the tuple into a string, a local time, convert second date tuple to local time, make time, convert into local time, sleep, function, tell you how many you want, you want to sleep, strip, convert a uh, person string into a time and this just return a current time in circuit you got time go look for this look around for that the second one we're gonna go to random mm, random what it does you can again, you can go to use a help random to run about this random program. I'm not going to do that. So I just create an, a date, one date, and time one date, two, time two. Okay, and then I just assign uniform one and two and make a random time. And then I'm going to use this to convert it, convert a topo to a consultant time. When I do that, can put to October 14 the year 2008 remember this is a random okay a random time so you do make it a random it come out very uh, random the day the years and then the next one you use a random by use this brain uh, random range first assign a num to a five side to a six a sum equals zero this function here is return a random select element from from a range a range function you have start stop and step right so and you use a for loop to do it a for i equal to the range number you want to have some equal some plus 
the brain of the psi plus one. Okay. And you can look at the function of it. Uh, let's look at it a little bit. Let's look at the range. Let's say I could look at range, range dot. It's only have print function. The rest is the function type and object. When you have time, just look around. What about the random? Random dot. You got quite a few. This function is yeah, you have a sub four uniform, you have those. So got a time, take a look at it. Alright. Alright, so I print some of it, it's gonna become 14. And I use the uh, fine put classes and the random classes. So I could use the uh, the fine puts, but it does. It can get a file, and you can as an input, and then it can do an error update. I take the uh, text here, and I input it, and then I convert it into a list, and then I assign to a fortune value. Then I'm gonna print it by using the random choice. This is the function. It's not gonna return randomly from the value that I I retrieve it. Okay? If I run first time I run fortune say you win a million dollar. If I run again and what are you gonna say? <laughs> you just win five dollars. It's okay. See so what the random choice is just retrieve uh, uh, just make the whatever the list here and just pick up ran randomly and then just bring it out. Okay. I think number three is a little bit longer, so let's go to it. You, you know that the range, we have start and stop step, right? And then when you arrange one, two element, it's gonna get the value between one element, okay? And then you do a list from this range, it's gonna convert this into a list. Okay, so when you do a list ring, it's going to take this ring value, it's going to convert to a list, which is a dictionary, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10. Okay, the next one, you're going to add the list value here with the jack queen, queen and split it up. Split what it does, it just uh, make it into a three uh, variable, okay, and remove the uh, the uh, space in there so okay see the second one you said you want to do this add jack and queen split up you're gonna have da 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 have jack in jack become another uh, variable and another you know list queen king okay this one doing that and then the next one um ba -ba 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 -ba. You're gonna bring a restrain one and then diamond has paid you're gonna split it when you split it you're gonna be one two three four five right you sp split the uh, diamond okay split this sp split this four okay and you bring it's gonna be a suit a suit okay and you're gonna be like this the next one you can use your for loop okay to put the value into the format string here, number one, number two, right? So by take the value in V, which is the uh, the key, and this is the value, and your for loop to go to from V in the value, and also from S to a shoot. Yeah, you're gonna assign to a depth. Okay, and then you're gonna print. I'm gonna print and see what it look like. Okay. This function here is kind of nice with the uh, Python. One sentence here, it just do everything for you. So when you do that, it's gonna print one of diamond, one of clock, and da -da -da -da, all the way to here, see that? So instead of doing that, you don't have to do that because it's kind of long string. You can use the uh, pprint uh, function. Remember that the pprint function 
it lists a long list and make it have a carriage return or enter key to do that. I only use 12 volume here so to let you see how it look like. So it's going to be one of diamond da, 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 until three of space and that's it. Okay? And this is about 10, uh, 10 minutes so I think it's done uh, about this. So by using the uh, value, the range and the list and you can turn that into a pretty nice uh, combination of store the, the deck of car okay all right hope you watching enjoy it and see you guys next time adios